Welcome to another studio tutorial. In this video, I'm going to walk you through creating a hamburger menu. And no, I'm not talking about a menu you'd find at a fast food restaurant. A hamburger menu is a slider menu that's accessible through vaguely a hamburger shaped icon. It's often used in responsive websites for smaller screen sizes when a full header menu can't fit on a screen. Now the first thing we need to do is select this menu and hide this for smaller screen sizes. So if we click in a few times, we can have our menu selected. And if we go over into the top bar, we can hide this menu for tablets and mobile devices. Now if we reset our screen size to something like an iPad, we can see that that menu is now hidden. The next thing we want to do is add a hamburger menu icon here at the top right. So we can expand our elements panel and go into icons. And I'm just going to do a search for menu. And we have this menu icon right here. So let's go ahead and drag this into our design. And I want to change the color and size. So let's go into our top bar here and we can change this color to white and let's change the size to 36 and we also want to hide this hamburger menu in desktop screen so if we go over here to display we can hide this by default and only show this on tablet and mobile now if we resize our design we can see on desktop our menu appears and if we go any smaller we can see that hamburger menu the next thing we want to do is create a modal for a slide out menu when you click on this icon so we can click on this plus icon here at the top right of our page and let's create a modal and we're going to name this modal mobile menu and we can name the URL the same and now let's make a few changes to this modal so if we click inside of this box here let's pin this to the top right and I want to remove the margins and we can go ahead and resize this however you'd like I'm going to go ahead and set this to 200 pixels by 400 pixels now we want to add some text for the menu so in our elements panel, I'll just drag over some text and pin it here to the left. And in this box now, I want to set some padding to 20 pixels. And I also want to set a margin for 20 pixels for the text. And now I can hold down Command C or Control C on the windows to copy this element. And let's go ahead and paste this a few times using Command V or Control V on the windows. And I want to rename this. So let's name this home, destinations, gallery, about, and sign up. Now you can play around with the width as you'd like. And we have a basic slide out menu. The last thing we want to do is click on this top layer here and set our transition to come in from the right. Now that we have our mobile menu set up, we can scroll over here to the top and go back to our first page. I'm going to go ahead and rename this home. And let's change the URL here to home. And now we can click inside of this icon here. And once we have this selected, we can see an icon here, this little arrow. When we click on this, we can link this icon to open this mobile menu. Now that we have everything set up, let's go ahead and click on Live Preview here. And we can click on the link that's generated. And let's take a look at how this works. Now we can see our design in the desktop view. If we resize our browser down to a tablet view, we can see that that icon now appears. And anytime we click on this, it's now going to slide in from the right like we've selected and we can always click away to remove that slide out menu. And that's how to create a hamburger menu for mobile devices.